Welcome to the Chet TV Newsroom, I'm Trent McManus, and here's what's making news today. The Star's Ambulance Service was recently awarded more money. With the calendar change, so does the speed limit in certain school zones. And finally, a young man hits a milestone within the Peace Region. The Star's Mobile Ambulance Service was donated more money. Joe Langford presented the Star's with a $580 check. So we're here today to give STARS a check from the community poker run that we had a few weeks ago. And uh, I was involved in STARS about a year ago. And they're an awesome thing to have, believe me. Saved my life. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. You're uh, welcome. For the donation. And uh, we appreciate your, your support and the support of, of the community and of the Peace River region of uh, British Columbia. Thank you very much. Thank you. Joe used the star service last year when he had an accident on his motorcycle. The new school year is upon us and drivers should be aware of the new speed limits. The Dawson Creek RCMP would like to remind drivers to slow down in these areas in the posted 30 kilometer an hour speed limit or in case of some rural areas, they are 50 kilometers an hour when children are present. The speeding fines in school zones start at $196 and increase to $253 if you're more than 21 kilometers over the 30 kilometer an hour school zone limit. That translates to 51 kilometers an hour, which is a city driving speed. So please be vigilant and slow down in those school zones. The local police will actively be enforcing these speed limits for the start of the school to keep the children safe. Mark September 7th on your calendar. You can be a part of one of 15 ALS walk locations in BC and the Yukon. Executive Director of the ALS Society for BC and Yukon, Wendy Troyer, explains why this event is so important. ALS stands for amniotrophic lateral sclerosis, uh, but basically some people refer to it as Lou Gehrig's disease. And for whatever reason, in a very healthy person, the uh, motor neurons stop communicating to the voluntary muscles in the body those muscles atrophy and die. Uh, currently, we do not have a cure for ALS, and we have the People's Drug Mart Walk for ALS, and that's going to take place Saturday the 7th, starting at 10 o'clock at Walter Wright Pioneer Park in uh, Dawson Creek. This walk is really important to us because the money that's raised from there will go to care for people living with ALS in the community of Dawson Creek as well as throughout BC. But more importantly, it will also go towards funding research. And now, more than ever, we believe that we are really on the cusp of a major breakthrough, and we need to support research. The event is taking place on the 7th at Walter Wright Pioneer Village in Dawson Creek. To register, visit walkforals.ca. In Dawson Creek now, where RCMP received a complaint of shots being fired at an oil and gas company sign near the old Edmonton Highway, it's believed that the company sign was being used for target practice. In this case, there was a natural gas infrastructure in the area. In the area. Damage to the oil and gas infrastructure possesses a serious risk to public and the employees of the area. Anyone found causing such damage with a firearm may be criminally charged with a, new, with a number of serious offenses. Dawson Creek RCMP would like to remind the public to be aware of their surroundings when using firearms for hunting or target practice. Please ensure that target practice is conducted in a safe and lawful manner. If anyone would like to report firearm incidents or any suspicious activity, they can contact the RCMP or Crime Stoppers. And finally, Chetwin's oldest resident turned 99 today. Albert Fletch celebrated this special day with family and longtime friends at the Chetwin Hospital. Andre has done a lot of hunting together, <laughs> trapping, whatever. We had to change venues. Yeah. yeah. A lot of the Mo mostly we just went out and have fun. Yeah. Happy birthday, Albert. Mm -hmm. And that's what I didn't try to change it around. Hello. Hello there. Hey. No, it's not Larry. Happy birthday, boy. Larry. Happy birthday. Hi, Larry. Hi. Hi, Albert. How are you doing? Good. Good. Here's the birthday, boy. Let's go. 99 years old. And with my bottle of wine. Yeah. <laughs> and I sort of have to lie. They used to put the things on the wine. 74, right? <laughs> Do you remember um, your girlfriend's names? Which one? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I 
have no girlfriend. You have no girlfriend. Are you looking for a girlfriend? This is a no, time to ask. I don't, I don't look for nothing. Okay. <laughs> I want to be free. <laughs> <laughs> Flett, who is older than Chetwin itself, fancies going hunting and wild horse riding again, and he says he doesn't want a girlfriend, though. He just wants to spend his time being free. You're now up to date in the Peace Region. Stay tuned for a look at your five-day weather forecast. Coming up next, from inside the Chet TV newsroom, I'm Trevor McManus.